Schönen guten Abend. Wir freuen uns sehr, dass Sie so zahlreich erschienen sind heute Abend. Welcome to the Heinrich Böll Foundation, everybody. I will speak in English as the whole evening will be in English. A very, very special warm welcome to our guests from Johannesburg, but also from Berlin and from Cuba. Um, thank you. As you are aware, this is the opening event, the opening of a week of World Artists Joburg Berlin, World and Music Joburg Berlin, a festival, D-E-Z-A, Festival World and Music, four events in one week, and I'm sure after this evening you will surely visit the other three. They are all announced, so look at the program. Tonight, this house, the Heinrich Böll Foundation's house, shall feel the beat and hear the word in English, German, and Afrikaans. Hip-hop, poetry, spoken word, beatbox, not unique to one country, nor to one city, and certainly not to only one language. Music and word, waking and shaking people and mobilizing. We have nine great artists in the house, and their encounter was made possible, and a great thanks to No Boundaries, Berlin and Word Sound Johannesburg. I want to name three people in particular. I will name them as we are friends by their first name, Olat and Isabel and also Afur Khan. Thank you very much. You have worked effortless to bring these people, to bring these artists together. And as a donor standing here in front of you, um, as the Heinrich Böll Foundation's uh, Africa Department person, I just want to mention that they have also worked effortless to get the funds together. Projects like this are not easily funded. Encounters of artists, culture work is not easily funded. They've worked particularly hard this year. If there's anybody from the BMZ, the Foreign Office or Philanthropist, please approach No Boundaries afterwards for future funding. Thank you. This is indeed the second uh, encounter. It's about two years ago, we had the workshops here in the house. We really had the beat in the house every day. Uh, Nairobi Berlin was the matter of the art two years back. Late last year, however, our tonight's artist traveled to Joburg and creatively developed what will in parts be presented tonight. And while you will feel the beat and you listen to the words I think you will understand why a political foundation like the Green Parties Foundation is supporting financially this work. I want to very quickly introduce and welcome Christian Römer, a dear colleague of mine who knows much better about cultural creativity than I do. He will moderate the evening and he will later on properly introduce our guests. They will also introduce them, themselves in the performance, but let us first take you all to Johannesburg with the visual encounter film on.
After this uh, atmospheric entry, I would like to ask uh, to come to the stage for a short moment, um, Isabel Ferrin Aguirre. Please, Isabel. Yes. And Afora Khan. So, and as always, uh, with great artists, plans have been changed on the last second, which is great. And not due to, you know, somebody not being here or anything, but due to creativity, which is great. So we're going to get a little taste of the show you're going to see in less than an hour down there, already here, and I won't say more. But first, uh, Isabel, you're the CEO, let's say, of uh, Boundaries Association. Oh. No boundaries association. That's a that's a good that's a big difference, I'd say. Point. Yeah, it's a that's a good difference. But well, we speak so much about boundaries nowadays, you know. So we say no boundaries, <laughs> right? No. Um, basically, you say that the work that no boundaries is doing is about, let's say, uh, eliminating limitations and trying to pull together an international exchange, right? And kind of you know overcoming boundaries. So can you give us a short insight? What's what about DESA? You know, what does it mean? And of course, uh, about the specific project uh, you have been leading together with uh, Olen and uh, Afora Khan for the last uh, for the last days here in Berlin and before, of course, in Joburg. Please. Um, yes, hello. I'm very happy that all of you came over here <laughs> to see us and to see the artists tonight. So uh, concerning your question, well, we have been working on this project for a year now, Word and Sound and No Boundaries. Together we've been planning this project where we put together musicians, poets, MCs and, and just let them go and see what comes out. So like actually it's this issue of no boundaries, just like see what happens and the creativity topic, what you just mentioned, that's it, exactly what we're doing. Like give space and if some ideas come up just say okay go ahead Tr we trust you <laughs> so that's how, how can we imagine a, a day like this let's let, let let us into the rehearsal space so this starts at what six o'clock in the morning and yes, stops nobody at five sleeps or, uh, everybody's nobody sleeps, working you know. no from six o'clock in the morning they have yeah, to yeah. be there the German then style, everybody okay. just gets uh -huh. bread and water and then everybody's yeah, yeah, working yeah, for see. hours very good no actually <laughs> the, we, we come together like let's say at 10 o'clock in the morning and um just you you have to really create the possibility that people feel comfortable mm -hmm. this is the point you don't mm -hmm. you cannot say today we expect you to be writing whatever two poems and two rap lyrics and whatever you just have to let 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 go things happen and and th that's for me as an organize organize organization like mm -hmm. organizer the yeah. most difficult part to also for the sponsors to say okay something will come out i'm yeah. completely sure but I, I cannot tell you what is coming out and i cannot even tell you how much but just trust because then we have the partners and then we think okay you you know good artists we know good artists we see yeah. and then it's just let go. Okay, so so we're going to see something about yes. those secrets soon. But first, Afura Khan, you're the one who kind of pulled the strings together in, in Johannesburg, together, of course, you know, with the crew. But, you know, what, what's your experience now? You work together in the groups in, in, in Johannesburg, now you come to Berlin. For many people, it's like, well, in Germany at least, Berlin, big city, dangerous place, and blah, blah, you know. <laughs> I see everybody's laughing. <laughs> So how's that, how's that, how's that, you know, just as an impression before we speak about the work, yeah, how, 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 you, how you feel, you, you feel safe here? 
yeah, yeah. Um, firstly, um, I'd like to acknowledge that I didn't work by myself in Joburg. Kagazam Tembu is um, Please, yes. the co-founder of the company and the managing director. Um, yeah, respect. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and she worked just as hard. Um, no, actually, mm -hmm. I, I'm safe here. Good. Um, ask Olad. He lost his phone in Joburg. So I think that just, <laughs> <laughs> that just explains everything. But, but I think, no. no I, but I mean, the, the serious point being, you know, yeah, please. It's like, um, I think I, I, I love Berlin. I love the energy. It feels familiar. It feels like I've been here before. Um, compared to, let's say, London. You know, I've been to London and it's a completely foreign place. But whereas Berlin has felt a bit more like home. How's I that? Feel safe. How's that? I can drink beer in the streets and walk, <laughs> and I will not be sent to jail. I was okay. Like, wow. <laughs> so it's been okay. fun, but I think the energy as well and the vibe, you know, um, a city with um, creative history and artistic history that's still visible, uh, still thriving. I think we aspire to be like that. I mean, South Africa is 21 years old, so we are still working through some kinks and still trying to gain our confidence. So um, coming to Berlin, is a, it's an inspiration more than anything. And just, just last question, maybe in connection to that, let's say, spoken work, hip-hop background. You also work together with Amewu. That's great. You will be, you know, putting it on uh, later as well. Um, so how's that also to, to, you know, to work with somebody who is also part of Berlin hip-hop history? It was fun and challenging. Um, I think the first trip in Joburg, the difficult part was that Germans are disciplined. Oh, that's difficult, yeah? So when you say, <laughs> let's play, they're like, what are we doing? Yeah. What's the point? No, we are playing. There is no point. They're like, okay, where do we start? No, just improvise a beat. You know, but I think it's just learning each other's cultures, learning mm -hmm. each other's work process, mm -hmm. and most importantly, making each other comfortable to, to create work. I think mm -hmm. one of the most difficult things, and I'm glad that um, you know, we were given this opportunity, is that people just want to see polished work. I think that's the easiest part. You want to go to a theater, to a concert, and yeah. see amazing process, but nobody wants to invest in the process of creating work, art, no matter how long it takes. You know, So working with uh, people like Ame Wu, who's a legend here, mm -hmm. for me, it's one, inspiring, and two, I get to learn. I get to put him out of, uh, out of his comfort zone. He puts me out of my, uh, my comfort zone, okay. and we find magic as, 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 as we work. You know? And I think that's the whole point of creating art. There shouldn't be an end goal. It's about the process, and what the process allows and what comes out of the process is the art. You know, it shouldn't be from A to B, this is what we, we expect to see. Well, difficult to, 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 say anyone, to say anything more about the process. That's great. Thank you very much for kind of, you know, leading us a little bit into the work. Please, Isabel. Yes, of course. Yes. I know what's going to come now. <coughs> Hit <Yes>. it. I <laughs> <laughs> First, there's this long list of thank yous I have to give. <laughs> no, sure. I really want to thank Heinrich Böll Stiftung for this making possible this complete project. So this is like really important. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and I want to thank our partners, Word and Sound Company, both of you, Kasa <laughs> and Afuda Khan. And um, last, the artists for giving their trust to us and just like let it just permit everything, <laughs> just forgiving whatever happened. <laughs> so thank you very much for all the patience. And now enjoy the evening. That's it. Yeah, so me. enjoy the evening, yes. Thank you, Isabel. And um, well, so now I'm just going to say, and Afura Khan is so nice already to kind of prepare the stage. And Marian, yeah, please be so kind. Now you're going to kind of get the first little taste uh, I just can say that this performance coming up has been as well developed, not on scratch with a lot of experience, but today and yesterday. So, well, I stop now and uh, soon we're going to hear the sound of a trumpet. All right, enjoy. <laughs>
You can find me walking Berlin streets with a bag full of dreams. And this bag has not only built my backbone, but has at times been a home. I, the backpacker, navigate the city with the hustle man swagger. My shoes know the road, the feet just follow, stomach is hollow. May I borrow a moment of your life? I sell words for a living, rearranged into patterns. Patterns for meaning, and meaning brings a question. And questions are the blueprint and foundation for progress. And progression is the purpose of every single human being. And so if this body was flesh and the spirit is immortal, then I must be forever. And this life is just a portal. A super slick CD sayon. Words are my crayons. Never conform and nomad. I reform to transform. But this great city is a maze. And many are slaves to the pace. So I pledge a line for minds caught in a daze. These streets house many, yet the walls are home to none. And this is for that woman who's been searching for her son, who got seduced by the city blues, tangled with the naked muse, drunk from a horn of fools, a snack for these concrete wolves. And so tonight, I saw my worlds again, plow fields of my imagination, and harvest for all, even the lazy grasshopper. Because your ears are the master when it's words that feed a poet. A hungry stomach scars the body, but a starving mind murders the spirit. That's why we write and speak it for all universe to hear it. Because this poem and all poems are prayers, thought channeled back to the mothership, begging her to bring us home. But in the meantime, in this beautiful burden of earth, steel, water, and concrete, she calls her heart, Berlin, I am home. This country, this mic is not on, is it on? Yeah. Okay. This country wants us to tell each other to die, to lay in bed with sand in our mouths, to kiss in coffins, eat our neighbors in the street, to call ourselves something ugly and then break our mouths so we can never relieve the suffering, to slump our children inside their dolls, teach them to play dead, split open, and come home like smoke without a voice or a body. It, it worries, worries that, that we would make a fire, fire as big as the country tied around our father's necks for the country tied around our father's necks. It wishes we would leave. Being that it has sunk its homes into the sea away from us. Being that it has nursed its dogs on the people in our ankles. Being that the joy here is, is ferrying their children in its mouths where ours cannot be family. This country is, is a liar. liar. You think it is dead everywhere except in its mouth when it calls you guffer or boy at a petrol station in front of your children. At school, it fiddles in your language. Says you speak black. black. Sound like anger cursing into a glass, like shouting in a purple hair salon where the sun is loud in the hair dryer. This country leaves the room when we speak. Says we are gurgling the ocean in its bones and then spends years carrying our parents away from us. Off our tongues. On burning highways. By bus. In the handle of a broom. In this country, we are tin cans stacked in the middle of the street. Low like our money and our God Shortened on purpose from kings to staircases This country will shoot you in the back And hide your money inside an owl Inside the money Because it has heard you call yourselves kings Because we are calling each other away from withering Because we are humming Backwards through a broken throat Because, because the, the sorrow, sorrow did not eat our tongues. tongues And all along 
We were the money inside the book with chapters for kingdoms and sentences like people, each page a question, a servant with a gun, a wing. And doesn't it feel good? To take this country off your skin. To read. To leave. To, to fly, fly away from, from here. here. Again and again and again. <laughs> Two paths to the zodiac. Libra, Capricorn, no, Virgo, a close-up of the football field up there, and the stars are moving, moving in this heaven, oh. Keine was, ha ha, alles geräumt, nur die Zeiger stehen noch auf null, null. The Zodiac too. The planes fly over the field. Here the children used to play. The planes level the playing field. There won't be players. And no time is left. Die Planen fliegen. Wie? Wir sind Kinder. Wie? Wiesen, Wiesen, Gewesen. The Zodiac, three. The meadowed hills are frozen in time, like tarpaulins bulging with summer air. Children st stir in the long grass, which will be mowed soon by the colder season. The Zodiac, Path 2. Libra, Capricorn, no, Virgo, a close-up of the football field up there, and the stars are moving in this heaven, oh. oh. Never sit near knife hole. Erase rats at a leaf lap to a fop fop boost or key of grief. One rocky pet. April. Dirarim. Who never sich near the navi um. Erase rats other leaf. Lap to the offer, yes, the okias gegrief. Die wan rocke pak, de sapro. Slik breit, kappe korn, arbeit, feige sie, ei, zwei, ziehe vor, ei, dotterball, feil, reder, stars, syra, mm, o, oh, ei, verneid, renn, gieß, wen, o. Oh. Zodiac, three. Lier bereit, Capricorn. Arbeid bereid in die feigisie. Ei die swaai, verswee voe. Betottel de beil. Die feil redder, star serenus. Om oor. Eiwe, neid ren. Kies nou die wen oor. Muziek 
Knowing the light, I remain in the dark. Insane sparks fire me up like a rocket discharged. Making history of these carbon copycats. Protect my origins, I'm all foundations and blueprints like architects. Let me lay the plan flat, like the dark ages concept of earth. Inverted thinking, tongue spitting, rhyme stars in reverse. Dodging evil in schisms, my gun speaks, stays eloquent. There's that grindhouse-ish, there's no damsel in distress. I'm from a line of hard chickens that flex their necks. Astounding with the intellect, compulsive, never miss a step. Eggheads trying to box me into cardboard cardins, I'm heartless. Rip mics in the name of carnage, but this reality's boring, I count the hours. More sick than tired, kids more thick than I was. One more hit for the downers and climb. Es gibt für all das Leid schon längst Beweise und Begriffe Doch leider tun wir meistens, als ob keiner davon wüsste Wir leben in einer Scheinwelt voller Kompromisse Schreib deine Ideale auf, dann streich sie langsam von der Liste In die Zukunft schauen ist wie durch ein Objektiv zu sehen Fokus auf dem Endlichen fürs Foto vor dem Spiegel stehen Esebücher sagen, du sollst einfach auf dein Ziel zu gehen Der Arzt sagt, wenn du krank bist, brauchst du nur die Medizin zu nehmen Alles viel zu schön, um wahr zu sein So wie der Sonnenstrahl, der auf den Ölfleck auf der Straße scheint Wer bezahlt den Regenwald und was wir die Natur mit Geld? Ein reicher Mann mit Öl an den Händen, der unsere Zukunft hält Hey, du hast vor viele, gib mal was von deinen Waffen ab Und hör auf mich zu hassen, denn ich hasse das Was mit dem roten Faden? Wo ist der Zusammenhang? Keine Ahnung, sieh dir doch selbst das große Ganze an Thank you. <laughs> so, as you can see, this is going to be a really concert-based evening. Yeah, and uh, before we go on with a little program, I want to just shortly say who has been on the stage now. There was Amewu Hip Hop, Mara Gensche. Ah, excuse me, first Amewu Hip Hop. <laughs> Mara Gensche, author. <laughs> Dalibor Markovic, spoken word. 
and beatbox, of course. And Daniel El Congo Allen on trumpet and percussion. Thanks, Daniel. There was Vuyelva Maluleke, spoken word. Razi Lubanzi Mtembo, singer and songwriter. Ciao Pierre Naudet, author as well. And of course, Afu Rakan. Thank you. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anybody. And uh, now, before the big concert will start over there, we have a little talking round. And I would like three of our guests, you know, I think we had to make, you know, a little choice um, for a little presentation, a little talk on the stage. And this would be, please, Dalibor and Vuyelva. And of course, I completely didn't mention Jugen Blackrock. Please. Excuse me, excuse me, Jürgen. But we're going to start with you. So, in this case, please come up to the stage. We're just going to make it cozy for ourselves here. Hey. Whoa. Yeah, whoa, okay. Yeah, we have some water. Yes, yes, yes. We push this over. Okay. I'm a pony. Okay. Thank you. line. Super. So, super. Well, all right. So, you. We start, and let's say maybe a few words about you before, you know, we see a little bit and then we talk a little bit about this. Well, I, I go to the, let's say, somewhat uh, legend, legends uh, uh, language on the website, which says, growing up on a small farm in the Eastern Cape, yeah, Jürgen Blackrock began listening to hip hop during the late 90s, the last dying days of the golden era where substance far outweighed swag, and the youth of America were still being conscious-sized by artists such as Public Enemy, Organized Confusion, and the Zulu Nation, as well as their more spiritually infused sounds of Wu-Tang Clan, De La Soul, and the tribe called Quest. Inspired by these powerful words of black consciousness and self-emancipation, Black Rock's journey into hip-hop had begun. That's true. That's good. <laughs> And so we jump now another 10 years yeah, into some production you have made, yes? And we look just like a minute to get a feeling, you know, what you do as a solo artist. So please, Philip, roll the tape. Geometric solid Philosopher's stones raise the Godhead melodic When mankind's descent is no more logic My aspirations sky bound like steeples of the Gothic Immersed in hidden gnosis within scripture Seeing divine order Arranging life's events like sporting fixtures From instinct the program's genetic Retracing treasure maps to distant lands Following an ancestry nomadic Fanatic secular thought left other selves vilified Our dual nature switching faces like the sign of Gemini Colonizing forces kept overriding paradigms Only to win well, great. Now, you, you, you have created a style that you call the Astro Gothic. Yeah? And if we speak, let's say, in Germany about Gothic, yeah, 
we 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 rather you know think of uh, basically you know a certain music that's not so close to the music here, and basically you know some kind of white uh, makeup and you know uh, you know what I mean. Okay, so um, and astro, where does that lead us? You know, does it lead us in the uh, to, to the eighties? You know, to some theory of about you know outer space and having been landed in on Earth. So what's 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 the idea behind astro gothic? Well, uh, I didn't set out to create any <laughs> uh, music form or whatever. Um, I named the name of the album Return of the Astro Goth uh, because of the two influences, the, the gothic, like you said, and the more astral way of living, really. So basically what I'm interested in is life outside of our planet, you know? Ah, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, there yeah, are what, a lot what of kind of What kind of life? Well, <laughs> the human being is a galaxy in itself. You know, uh, you don't necessarily need to have a telescope to get in touch with those other alternate realities, you know. So as much as we have the universe or multiple universes, however you want to look at it, we are a microcosm of that, you know. So looking into oneself, you can deal with the other planets in your rotation, you know? Um, so that's how I look at how we live, you know? If, if a person was supposed to exist on their own, they would have been created completely on their own. But here we are on a planet with seven billion people and we all have to learn to get along in some way with our language barriers, with our gender issues, with all sorts of politics, you know, that separate us. So what I really wanted to do was to just look where we have uh, common similarities. As far as the goth part is concerned. Yeah. What about the goth part? <laughs> um, I mean, if you, if you do any of you interested in any art history, you look at all of our cathedrals, you know, all around the world. There was an age where human beings wanted to connect to God so badly, they built these structures to try and reach the sky. I look at that as trying to connect with yourself, you know. So that element of Gothic is what I'm going for. Not necessarily the image <laughs> of the painted yeah. face. And, uh -huh. you know, um, the music style that I'm into is more than just about the image. Mm -hmm. It's about what you're saying. It's about how you're connecting. The reason I write in the first place is because I want you to look at me. You know, you have to be honest with yourself. I, am, you know what I mean. Yes, is is that the reason also? Because I saw a couple of videos, and and the ones which you have produced. Yes, you are alone. Yeah. Yes. And that is interesting because you know we we, we see a lot of hip hop videos, especially in the hip hop world. You know, okay, where we see a lot of people. Let's let's do it neutral now. Yes, but there's always you know. And there are certain images, you know, how, how women are portrayed and so on and so on. And I, you, you're countering that out on purpose, you know, just, yes. just being there yourself. Yeah. Yes. I mean, uh, I would be very egotistical to think I could do anything completely by myself. You know, I work with people that make beats or make instruments that will accompany my voice. When I rap, I ask, what, what does it sound like? You want feedback because you're doing this for people. It only makes sense that they're included in your creative process. That being said, you don't sit and think, what can I write to make people like me more? Rather, let me put myself out and like-minded people will find me. Mm -hmm. you know? So as far as having a lot of people in your videos, I can understand maybe if you want people to take you seriously or you want clout, maybe you want people to look at you as more than just a single person. You know, you, you can feel small being just by yourself, but sometimes it's okay, you know, to be by yourself and own your space before you can go into someone else's space as well. How is it then uh, connected to the work you did here? If you, let's say, have a, have a strong group experience the last, what, 10 days, two weeks, yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, good, good, good to deal with that, yeah, easy? <laughs> yeah, it's been a few days, but we've done enough work for a couple of weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But um, yeah, this, this project, um, I would say, means a lot to me personally. Um, getting involved in it at a difficult space in my life as well. It was, it's really great meeting people that uh, grew up in different circumstances to you 
and their language barriers and their thought processes. You meet someone that's 25 years old and you think, oh, maybe she's too young or she's too old, but that person has spent 25 years training that mind to think the way that it does, you know? So for us to connect on any level is a big thing, you know? So I, I've really enjoyed working with everyone. <laughs> 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 so that's Astro as well, sort yeah, of, it's, yeah? It's, uh, yeah, out of the world. Excellent. Thank you very much, yeah, for for this for this short start. I move to uh, Dalibor. Hey, Dalibor Makovic, born and raised in Frankfurt am Main, Germany, yeah, which we also know in a certain way as a city that's known for hip hop, not only since since yesterday, uh, with a Croatian cultural background. Yeah, this famous migration background, hintergrund, whatever that means. As a child, he discovered his ability to create sounds and rhythms with only his mouth, the so-called beatboxing. During his study of philosophy at the University of Frankfurt, he started performing at Poetry Slams, a modern form of competition for upcoming poets. Along with two friends and fellow poets, he established the spoken word team Word Alert in 2010, They were the winning team at the Zurich Spoken Word Festival. And before we go a little into, into a dialogue, we want to show a little clip that you have done, Tic-Tac-Toe is called, and is somehow about movie production that produces movies. Please roll the tape. Ich präsentiere einen äh, experimentellen Kurzfilm, der ist äh, leider so experimentell geworden, dass niemand ihn rausbringen wollte. Daher bin ich wie bei allen Herzensangelegenheiten dazu gezwungen, ihn selber gegen zu finanzieren. Das mache ich, indem ich vorher einen Werbefilm einblende und mit den Einnahmen vom Werbefilm finanziere ich dann den experimentellen Kurzfilm. Also für euch der Ablauf erst der Werbefilm, dann der experimentelle Kurzfilm. Power Pictures präsentiert. Ich weiß auch nicht warum, aber meine Partys sahen nie so aus wie in der Alkoholwerbung. Es gab nie Menschen, die glücklich in Zeitlupe tanzten. Ich habe auch nie die schönste Frau des Abends abbekommen, nur weil ich das richtige Bier getrunken habe. Es endete meistens so um 5 Uhr morgens über einem Rindstein. Und ich versuchte, den sich langsam senkenden Spuckefaden zwischen die Gitter zu bekommen. Und in diesem Moment wurde mir klar, dieses Erbrechen ist eine geheime Botschaft an mich selbst, die es anders zu lesen, anders zu betonen galt. Und zwar ging es darum, es allen heimzuzahlen, die mich jemals angekotzt haben. Hey, Micha, weißt du noch damals in der fünften Klasse, als du mir die Freundin ausgespannt hast? <lacht> Schnitt. Hä? Astrid. Wer hat jetzt Höhenangst, Astrid? Hä? Wer hat jetzt Höhenangst, Astrid? Hä? Wer? Hä? Schnitt. Das damals im Finale war kein Elfmeter. Herr Wieland. Schnitt. Thomas Katuczynski ist der Erbrecher. Hoffentlich hat er kein Hühnchen mehr mit dir zu... Köpfen. Winzige Schrift, die so schnell weg ist, dass niemand sie lesen kann. Winzige Schrift, die so schnell weg ist, dass niemand sie lesen kann. Winzige Schrift, die so schnell weg ist, dass niemand sie lesen kann. Demnächst im Kino. Super. Vielen Dank, Philipp. Ja, man, also, als ich das vorgestern Abend gesehen habe, dachte ich, du schreibst da eigentlich. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, 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 guys. <laughs> I'm oh like, man, what? <laughs> man, no boundaries in German. What's happening tonight? Uh, is this this must Victorian be, well, accent or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, cool. Man. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Is um, when I saw this two nights ago, uh, I was thinking, well, uh, Dali, Dali Boy is, is is really writing scripts, yes. And I, I well, I, I don't know if it's not a connection with you studying philosophy, but in basic, it seems like that that. Your, your writing is is much more geared towards really 
a, let's say a bigger refined narrative so you you find more 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 satisfaction in really kind of you know telling big stories mm, yeah actually yeah um i mean i started out with small pieces little stuff and then it grew and grew and grew and now the arcs i'm interested in uh i'm becoming e even bigger and and are even floating through um um an, an actual piece so I, I put pieces together that actually got an arc that's covering them but it's not necessarily you, you have to see all of them you can also uh, enjoy see one of parts. them but mm -hmm. but um if you if you get the chance to see them all then you see that they're in a way connected um so this is the first part actually of a Quatrology or a, a, a yeah, quadrology, yeah, yeah. quadrology. Okay. So four parts, and um, and in the end, they it, it's like a story that's hovering through um, the four parts. And the, I mean, <clears throat> is is that possible? Because I, I saw how you know how many performances you do now, as you post it on your on your website. It ha, ha, is is it possible today as a slam poet to basically you know survive on that? May yeah. I ask this, yeah, yeah. this uh, prosaic question? Especially in question. such dangerous yeah. cities as Berlin. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, well, you come uh, from you come from Frankfurt. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, it's tough. I mean, I come from Frankfurt, so I know I know yeah, my way yeah, around. You know. Yeah, um, Sosnheim. No, I'm just joking. Um, but um, yeah, it's possible. It's actually actually it is possible. Yeah, to to make a living, and um, you know, you have to. It's not it's not always possible to to make a living with um, performances. You have to do other stuff, you know, like, um, like workshops uh -huh. and and on univers yeah. in universities. So you also or, teach and yeah, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. or try to help people uh, find their voice or uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. But um, yeah, it's possible. How was your experience to go the other way around? Uh, being being in South Africa, I mean, is that was it your first time? If I may ask, uh, in South Africa, yeah, yes. It, is it a complete culture shock, or is it is it something where you just like jump in and you're, well, basically you feel home? Oh, oh no, home? No, no, no. It's it's very interesting, you know. But but you hope hope that you're open minded. Yeah. And uh, there are certain incidents where you realize that you're not. So what, what struck you like it's, it's that things are not different? As a, um, I don't, as, as very for Europeans, we live in this bubble, you know, um, a kind of a secure bubble. And when you when you leave that bubble, you realized how much you of this bubble is implemented in your body and in your thinking and in everyday life. You know, walking down the street is like a you know very normal thing, or even walking. The concept of walking is very European, because every time we said we're going to walk, you know, people laugh at us. You know, come on, you crazy Europeans, why do you want to walk? You know, it's like it's like What's one what? hour walk. Yeah, uh, the South on. African system is. Crying. Always, Europeans always tend to ask, "Is it possible that we walk there?" And yeah. everybody's like, "No way! No, <laughs> no it's my—it's it's just too far away. Come on, okay. you know." And um, and then we're like, "Okay, we can take a car," you know. And um, <laughs> and yeah, so there are certain points, but on the other hand, there's so lovely people, you know, meet and 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 you and you talk to them, and you realize that there's a common ground. Even if there's, as they said, you know, the country is 21, you said 21? 22 years old. 22 years old. Mm -hmm. And all of the history that we know about. And um, and still, you, you know, you, you talk and after two minutes you realize, yeah, we are on the same level somehow. I mean, the, the performance just now, even the, like, let's say, improvised performance just in the, in the in setting it up right felt like very organic so so is your experience now from this co-working also something that things click very fast your or it is um it is necessary to spend time you know talk or we went to a park and you know played soccer or, or and then you know just hang around and get to know each other you know get the vibe you know, where, where are people coming from um and and then it eventually starts, you know. Then then they then they show you the piece that you that they're working on, and then you're like, oh, I can translate that, or it goes back and forth. You know, it's like a fluid thing eventually. So, yeah, it was very very good. Excellent. Thank you very much.
So we move to our last and third guest now on this little on this little podium. And before I say the wrong thing, just a second. Here we go. Here I wrote it down. So I train. Vielva Maluleke. Yeah, okay. okay. Very good, thank you. Um, is a Joburg burn writer and poet who grew up in a township. She describes herself as a storyteller. It is when I am most honest. It is also the hardest thing to do for me to hand my work over so publicly to audiences. But the sharing between the audience and myself generates an immediacy that is like church. There is so much magic there. And exactly connecting to this, uh, we want to show a little, little clip, which we, you know, checked with you before, because I, th I think it really connects to uh, what has been said about you here. Yeah, there you are. Oh. Yeah, okay, somebody's laughing here. Who knows you? But it, oh, yes, 10 years like, ago. Come on, this was uh, yesterday, pretty much. Okay, please hit it, Philip. This is in a, in a festival. When I had learned that I could be something better than a familiar smell, he said, hey, look. Like what he was about to tell me would boost my doubt that I was the only one who lived under his tongue and the only nickname his mother had given him when he was his best version. And when she had gotten too ill for her mouth to remember it, the memory was no less beautiful. And I, I was his arms, an ordinary and amazing, only to those who knew how they could tickle. But I am no one's holy bread. I have never trusted the water or any man to the grace of the sky because, man, swimming, it's a lot like loving. It's a faith act. And I haven't learned to do that yet. But he said, hey, look, I'll wait for you. Unless it's an experiment on waiting, then I am very impatient, born that way. He was teaching me new ways to count loss, so it wouldn't be a lie when I say, hey, I've known that. So I know. I know I may not have you for long, so while you sleep, I roll my right leg in between the boyish knock of your knees, feel the honey stick of your cheek against mine, and, oh, and get myself stuck. Shit. If you are yeah. sleeping, you like this as much as I do. Make it stop. Make it stop, please. Make it stop. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Um, I think there's something about, I don't know, there's something about that person and the stories she used to tell. Um, so that poem is about unrequited love. At the moment, like at the time, I didn't know anything about unrequited love. Now, yes, yes, sure. Okay. I've, <laughs> I've, I've got that. I've got that on lock. It's inside my body. Somebody okay. gave it to me. Okay. But yeah, before then, it was like, um, it was a friend's story, yeah? Ah, okay. Yeah, it was a friend's story. But, but I think the, my feeling was when I saw it, I just may say that, that it was so, you know, felt through, yeah? Mm -hmm that uh, also it seems like that for you this has to do with acting in the good sense yeah. yes not yeah. not not pretending yeah, but kind yeah. of taking the skin of somebody, somebody else, else and well, like jumping in it right yeah i'm a bachelor of arts in dramatic arts person okay. like mm -hmm. i got my degree in that so whenever i do do spoken word um i do try to take my theater training because it was damn expensive you know and yeah I yeah you know <laughs> make university work <laughs> four yeah. years four years so I, I i i do try to like embody um what i am saying i do try to to bring it as as, as close enough to my body as possible um so that people can can feel it as well yeah so I, I try, yeah. Okay, so could you just give us an insight? Because, you know, this was taken out of a, of a little festival situation yeah. in South Africa. Oh, a big so, so festival. A big festival. A big I, I ju I'm just festival making this, you know, a little diminutive, yes. excuse yes, me. Yes, yes, a yes. A big festival situation. But uh, could, you, could you enlighten us about a little Where? bit what, what kind of festival scene does exist? Because in Berlin we know there are the Lesebühnen, you know, and there are the, you know, some slam events and so on. There's a certain scene, people uh, know it, you know. Yeah. How's, how's, that, how's that at home? At home. Okay, at home it's like spoken word 
the spaces for spoken word are growing right now, right? Because people have seen that um, the youth are interested in writing stories about themselves for themselves in in an English that is accessible. So whilst there are uh, book festival, literary festival, spoken word has always been like marginalized and is now starting with um, collectives like Word and Sound. That was the Word and Sound Festival where I started slamming competitively and then um, sh showcase showcase on their stage so they give um, youth like an opportunity to actually uh, create work to be competitive to see what other people are doing um, and by the end of the year you have like eight poems because you're slamming every single month it's competitive there are points people want to kill you you know it's, it's, is, it, it's, is it in the battle style as well or? Um, it's not like it's not hip hop so it's yeah, not that's like, what I want to ask yeah, yeah, so, like, it's, people it's not kill hip hop you. so you come with your best poem or what you think is your best poem mm -hmm until you hear somebody else and then <laughs> you you do the poem and and the audience gets to decide who it was who told the story using colloquial english and and you know like we in south africa have 11 official languages so english is not even my mother tongue either right okay. uh, but um, i have incubated in the language so long um, that I am using it to write spoken word, right? And writing my vernacular into it, writing my blackness mm -hmm. into it, mm -hmm. writing my womanness into it. Mm -hmm. And so spaces in South Africa, like people are writing spoken word poems in Zulu, in Setswana, like people are writing those poems, writing their own vernacular into spoken word. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Mm. How, but you, you speak, you, you, you're, writing, you're writing your womanness in, into the songs. I and mean, here we have now a nice gendered out group, yes? Mm. But how, how is it in South Africa? We, 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 we speak about the 50-50 ratio of mm. male and female artists on mm. that side, or how's, mm. the, how's the situation? The slam scene is very masculine in its nature because mm -hmm. of perhaps the competitive side of it. Mm -hmm. So there are fewer women slam poets. That doesn't mean that there are fewer women poets. It okay. just means that they aren't necessarily wanting to step inside the space. But okay. those who do, those who are, what's the word, brave enough, yeah. um, have a particular style of writing that is really very challenging for male writers because... Mm -hmm. um, the thing about South African male writers sometimes, the slam poets is like they are writing about things that are really close to them, but uh, writing them away from them. Um, so ah. like if you use a computer to describe love, <laughs> You know, uh, oh, well, the metaphor you, of a computer. You mean computer. like brave, but not brave. Yeah, like, brave, of, but not yeah. brave. So I'm talking yeah. about the soft, really, really small thing, but I'm writing so far away from me. Okay. Whereas women poets really get to so, write real mm -hmm, close, close, real close. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. um, an audience can sense that, um, is, is attuned to that and gravitates towards that and is willing mm -hmm. to reward that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they are brilliant, right? Yeah, men and poets are brilliant. Yeah, no, no, cool. wait, we know. But we it's know, like I have, I have a female bias. I have a female bias, so uh, I'm You're about that. You're entitled to, <laughs> you know. Thank you. Excellent. Well, uh, <laughs> you know, excellent. well uh, <laughs> oh, this one took a little bit. Okay. Um, well, now I have to say, uh, looking at our watch, you know, we still go for the big concert out there and Amewu and others putting the records on and so on. So if you're cool with it, you know, although we could go on talking for a while, I would pass it over to the audience for some for some short statements or questions, you know. And sure. as we say, no, no, the questions themselves. Oh. You know, like, you know. Oh, no, okay. no, you know, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> okay. uh, short questions. So, if you want to ask something or make a little <clears throat> statement and get something to know if you're curious just uh, feel free there is uh yes a wonderful assistant kind of bring the mic to you so Come who on, dares guys. who dares ask to ask uh, or just to give a comment <laughs> oh, not. please <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, 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 what up, what yeah. up? Yeah! <laughs> um, yeah, since we already met yesterday, I just wanted to ask you guys, how do you feel about being in Berlin? Because I heard some of you guys, it's the first time for you that you left your country, and so I just wanted to ask, how do you feel about the, the vibes over here, overseas in Berlin? That's my question. 
Well, maybe that goes to the ones who are. You have I been guess. well. You have <laughs> I mean, I can't talk about it. You, you want to hit it? Yeah. Please be so kind. Uh, it's been great. I've, I've been here two days, guys. I haven't gone anywhere. You know, we've been out working, but um, the vibe of the city is is something worth traveling those thousands and thousands of miles for, for myself as well. Um, the language is great. <laughs> yeah, you like German? I love it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You eat currywurst, stuff like this? Ich liebe es. Ah, you love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, yeah, man, it, um, it's been great also because we've been getting a sense of Germany from our collaborators as well. So with their stories, we can connect, we, we get a sense of the culture, of the history as well. The welcoming's been great, you know, the beer's fantastic. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, man, it, it's been great so far, um, considering uh, where we come from as well with our own history and culture and, and politics to get a breath of fresh air, you know, um, to, to, to look at our parallels, to look at our differences and just learn from it. Excellent. Would you have what you want to add? Um, yeah, sure. Um, it's, it's great. Um, there's something very familiar about Berlin. I don't know what it is yet. There's a feeling where I'm just like, it feels a little like Joburg. Um, I can't, maybe by the end I will know what it is about Berlin that feels really familiar. Um, but it feels like a space where artists can really, really survive. Um, we kind of feel special here, you know? Um, and really, in South Africa, I really don't feel special at all, at all. Um, and, and the programs that are... <laughs> the programs are here are interesting. And we've, we've had an opportunity to um, have conversations um, and see the kind of similarities, like the idea of um, immigrants um, here and there and the issue of xenophobia that we have in South Africa and how immigrants are being dealt with here. So it's been interesting trying to listen and be like, oh, okay. Um, what okay, I know same this. thing it's or familiar. okay, it's familiar? It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's familiar, the idea of the, the struggle of the immigrant body, the displacement, um, the not having the safety. Um, and I, I think as citizens, we take that for granted. Um, you see the news overseas and you're just like, yeah, it's bad. Like it's, But to see the body, the person, the voice and who it belongs to, um, it's been really interesting, yeah. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> CJ. No oh, questions? Wow. No? Ah. Okay, Yay. can I say, since I already hear the word, let's party, yeah, <laughs> we, take, we take one more. This is the lady over there stretching out her hand. Yes, please, go ahead. Hi, everyone. <coughs> um, some of you I know. Um, I know for sure that you guys are tweeting a lot and posting stuff while you have your shows. So I just wanted to ask if, if you're doing it now, and if you do it, if you just want to send some greetings to your colleagues and friends in Joburg yes. from Berlin. Yeah, we will. All right, we all will right. Do we, it. Shall, we shall, we shall, we shall, we shall be done. There was another hand. Don't be afraid. I saw you. Okay, there okay, we go. So <laughs> this, this hand, hand was first. Sorry, you know. This hand in the Please line. hit it. Hey, um, Hi. thank you first for your um, wonderful speech and yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, as you said, um, you realized and I also realized that um, poetry slams are very, very unfortunately only men dominated and less women rule dominated. And uh, do you have an idea how we could change this problem to become it more female. <laughs> I think I think Thanks. women need to just be like I'm going into this space. I don't necessarily know that the space is now going to get comfortable and be like, okay, um, this poem has a little bit of misogyny in it, so maybe I should just like consider the people who are hearing it. I don't necessarily think the space will change if we don't make a change, which means we actually need to exist in it. Um, it's a hard thing to do because uh, I tried that and it was it was rough, but it's like the idea is 
to 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 slam and be like the next woman you see you need to be like okay you need to get on this stage and be supportive of each other and our bodies existing right and the only way that that can happen is if we push the space make the space responsible keep the space accountable and so if you're hearing a poem that you don't really like where there's misogyny and you're hearing like hey it's not working. It's 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 your responsibility to just generally be like, okay, um, this poem is problematic in these ways, and so to keep each other just on our toes and accountable about the stories that we tell in spaces, and maybe Afura could actually add to that, yeah, because yeah, yeah. he runs sure, Afura, Word and Sound, the Slam Space. Um, okay. just to answer that, the interesting thing about our space, Word and Sound, yes, there's a lot of male participation, but. The last three champions are female. They're all female. I'll be one of them. And Abby she's one, one of them. Yeah, Abby okay. I'll be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, as much as there are a lot of males on the stage, the really good poets are female. And I think part of, part of it is working through the male ego. Like she was saying earlier, men sort of distance themselves from the subject. They write in third person, it's over there. Whereas women are braver, they go in, they make it a personal story. So that's a challenge at least back home that we're facing where men are moving out of the hip hop ego and then understanding that spoken word or poetry is not hip hop. And you know, it's about honesty and deeper and about getting deeper. Um, so I'm not, at, I always tell the guys that, you know what, I'm glad there's a lot of you because you get to learn, and then hopefully that changes you guys, and be, you know we can become better poets. You know, but in South Africa, I think men are the ones who are more outgoing. They they want to take um, on challenges because of ego again. You know, they want to take on stages, whereas women have a purpose for getting onto the stage. Whereas men is about look, I'll spit sixteen bars, act fancy, I've got a Benz, I've got whatever. You know, so it's more male uh, ego driven than it is about trying to connect with people. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, if I may. Yeah. Maybe, if I may add, uh, we got the, like you said, uh, right? We got the same problem actually here in Germany um, because we got the big uh, uh, youth movement uh, called U20, so poets and poets. And, and then they're, they're the, uh, the starting point because poets are very sensitive when it comes down to words. So it's also a thing how you announce um, a thing. So it's a difference if you say we got a lot of poets on stage because um, uh, you also have to address the female you know, version of the word poet. You know, um, and it's um, about uh, the talk backstage because backstage, you know, guys tend to be like, yo, you know, yeah. and we're like having that, th these conversations about things, you know, and um, <laughs> and it's, sometimes it's a little bit strange, you know, for, for a female to, to, to witness this yeah. or to, 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 you know, to join even in, even join in, yeah, you yeah. know, and um, so, um, and we got this, like I said, this, this huge movement, U20, and it's full of female, uh, what's, what's a uh, 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 female word for? A poet is a poet is a, a poet. poet. So there's no difference? Yes, no, no despite test. sex is a no, poet. No poet test? No! Okay, I'm just, no! I'm just asking. No, no. no, because, no, no. Uh, because there is a difference in German. You know? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Poet and poetin. No, I yeah. hate that For word. Real. Yeah. It's like a little poet, like a princess poet. Like, <laughs> no, no come I on. hate that yeah. word. Um, I hate it. And, All right. And it's and it's full it's full of, of female poets, this movement. And as soon as they get older, they kind of leave uh, um, uh, the the stages, so well, they're well, not yeah. around anymore. Yeah. Uh, just just and because we are, we are just having these yeah. these conversations and trying to figure out why is that? Yeah, you know where where are they going? You know why are they? You leaving? have you have an answer? No, not yet. Okay. For myself, I have left. I, I slammed and I thought, you know, slam was was going to affirm something. Slam, it was good because I was writing the work that I wanted to write. Um, and so I wasn't writing what I call slam formula, which is like poverty, blackness, uh, rape. Those are the poems that get rewarded any kind of social justice. I was writing about my womanness and my blackness, my mental illness, my, my depression, whatever. Like I was writing about those things, those real things, right? And I, I won Word and Sound, which was an awesome thing because that's what I wanted. But um, I, wanted, I wanted more for my work. So it's like there was no reason to keep slamming. Like I, 
even if I hadn't won, I would have stopped slamming then. I would have just been like, okay, it's done. I've challenged the space. I'm not willing to challenge the space any further. The next person must come and challenge the space. I'm done. Now I just want to just write my work in a, in a different place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe uh, if I may ask, uh, yes, the lady over there, please. Hi guys, Neil from Sherwood, living in Berlin. Hi. Hey! <laughs> um, I just want to know, have you ever felt like you need to censor yourselves in your artwork, um, whether it's for sponsorships or financial reasons, um, to cater for your audience, maybe like picking the theme according to what the people will like? Um, and in your different sort of um, artistic spheres, is there an idea of selling out? Is that still a thing? And what does it look like when you sell out? That's why, yeah. Answers, nice yes. oh, no, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, personally, no. So I'm broke. Um, <laughs> um, and at every, any given point, I mean, we've just touched on gender in all these arts. I mean, as we all know, in hip hop, it is as male dominated as the slam scene and the object objectification of women is a big thing to the point where women are objectifying themselves to fit in because the system is patriarchal. You, you, you can't just change it overnight. You can't change people's attitudes that have been going on for decades overnight. Um, so when it comes to selling out I mean, doing anything that you don't believe in, doing things that you don't want to. I mean, sometimes as a responsible adult, obviously, you have to do things that you don't want to do. Go to work, take care of your kids, <laughs> you know, if, when they're irritating. <laughs> I wouldn't know. But um, when it gets to the point where um, your whole, your art depends on your salary, or where you start defining yourself by how much you earn, when you start only associating yourself with spaces where you need to be validated on your image or what you seem to be rather than what you really are, for me, that's selling out, you know? Um, this, the stuff that we all do, I think, is, is heartfelt. It, it's something that connects to people whether there's cash involved or not. You know, um, I, I wouldn't know, I mean, half our industry is a bunch of sellouts, as, as far as I know, you know, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I can hear and see, you know? Yeah, that sounds very de disillusionized. Is um, it so, yeah? In that, that's South it. Africa, that's I asked it, from yes. curiosity. South yeah. Africa, yes. In, in South Africa, it's, it's pretty much eight rappers being recycled over and over, saying the same thing on the same beats, which are poor copies of... Dumb American stuff. I'm not saying America is dumb, no, no. but the part that is dumb about America <laughs> is, being is the part that it's being copied. people, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. being copied, and it gets to the point where radio stations want to dictate to the audience as though the audience is stupid. We will not play your song because it's too much for radio. But you're talking to a human being with feelings, emotions, a spirit, and so, all of that. So to dictate candy yeah. to someone who needs vegetables and yeah, fruit is, is ridiculous you know um, so if we do want to change the space in which we work we need to change the way we think about that space you know if was, a woman is walking down the street wearing whatever she's wearing it's not for your entertainment as a man that's a being that deserves respect you know so these little things if we take notice of them and take them seriously we can change the world that we live in we can stop saying things like Fem C or female MC or you know what I mean? It, 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 it's, it's a weird thing to try and make someone feel bad for anything, for being, you know, as, as though their voice is not enough, you know? So um, I think guys need to step up. Uh, they need to stop relaxing. The world is not yours. It's ours, you know? We need to get to an integrated space. We need to stop uh, excluding people regardless of the issues, whether it's black girls rock, it's whatever. We, we're on a planet and there are a million shades of us, you know? So whether you're reacting by, by you, you know, out of anger, you're still reacting out of anger. You, you're not, you're not going to go far. You know, you need to find your center. So wherever you're at, you need to be, this is me, this is what I'm doing. 
And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, there's someone that you like. There's millions of other people you can be friends with. Get out of my space. See? Yeah. And... <laughs> That's so funny. When we spoke before, uh, you told me let's not get political. Yeah, I know. Which is great because <laughs> now you got in the, in the, in a great sense uh, uh, very political. Yeah. Well, uh, the question demanded it. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I mean, I, I agree. Yes. It, it, and it's important. Yeah. Thank you very much for the input, all three: Jugen, Vuelva, and Dalibor. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and now just a little organizational thing. In uh, I think we take a break, Kirsten, of like what <coughs> ten minutes. You know, there's something to drink outside. I hope. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you can have a cigarette <coughs> outside. Yeah, and uh, take your time. And the artists, uh, you will all see him again now in ten minutes, or maybe plus two or three. Uh, <laughs> Hey man, I'm not. I'm not going into that one. I'm not going into that one. Okay, so you're going to see them all down there. Uh, so that's great because you can sit on this wonderful stairs over there. You know, so take it easy. Take a break. There's enough place down there. In about a quarter of an hour, the concert will start. Thank you. <laughs>